Opportunity number one is that of being a voter. It is the greatest opportunity that you have to transform your country, to basically get what you desire to have because everything you need has to come through good leadership. So you have a great opportunity as a voter to participate and change this country, to participate and you know ensure that the leadership that you have will actually deliver your wishes. But you also can be candidates, why not? We've seen candidates who are even students. So why are you shying away? You can also be very effective in campaigning and uh, we've seen you, you know, basically being the lead in the campaign processes for particular candidates. Great opportunity that can actually ensure that you get what you, you want. You can be vote educators, you are peace ambassadors and when you choose to do peace, I'm telling you, nobody, not my mother in the village, not the urban, not, not, not the Tari here, they will listen and they will see. Because when the youth take on something, you will see. You are the owners of technology. You can influence all of us. There is also money in the IBC. And I think the procurement laws have been very open to the youth. You can come and supply goods to the commission, but you can also provide services to the commission. So please, I know it's late, but this is the opportunity that some of you have already made use of. And I know we have suppliers, whether in different sectors who have provided and gotten part of the 40 billion we are talking about uh, in the country.